Yo, what's going on? I'm Mario Ramon, and let's get straight into it. Let's get into our recap of the have and the have nots. Okay? Like, I want to talk about that neighbor across the street. That is Mrs. Kravitz, Kravitz from Bewitch. That is a nosy, nosy, nosy heifer. She, she keeps saying, she keeps saying, the man went in, but he didn't come out. Candace is going to deal with your kitty cat, honey. She's going to groom your kitty cat for you. She's going to give you a Brazilian wax, honey, even if you don't want one. She's going to pull your hairs from the ruta to the tuta. You keep saying it, and you didn't say it to the wrong person because you said it to her mother. And her mother told the brother, and the brother going to tell Candace, and Candace is going to get your kitty cat pumpkin lamb. So go in the house. Lock your doors. There's nothing you can do. Those cameras are still going to film. She's going to pull your hair. She's going to wear the cameras. Wear the cameras. Turn it off. Turn it off. Give me the tape where you saw him go in and he didn't come out. Pull your shit out one by one. You must not know about Candace, the remix. Now, she's a baby bitch compared to Veronica. Veronica teaches a class at Harvard on the weekends on how to be a bitch. OMG! She is making her gay son marry this beautiful woman. Now, it wouldn't be no problem with me. If the, even Stevie Wonder could see she's beautiful. Now, Veronica does have exquisite taste. Like, if your mother is going to make you marry a woman, that's it. Like, you you can't get any higher than that. But she was like, you're going to put this ring on her finger. You're going to put your penis in her vagina. You're going to push it in and push it out and push it in and push it out. And if it doesn't get hard, you're going to keep doing it until it gets hard. Like I said, I teach this class at Harvard, little bitches. You're going to do it. She's going to do it. You're going to smile. You're going to get happy. You're going to give me two grandchildren. And then y'all can do whatever you want to do. You can be gay and write your life story. Honey, I don't care. But you're going to push some afterbirth out of her womb from your sperm next he shows up to the dinner party now he should already know he meaning jeffrey his her son keeps trying her he keeps trying veronica but he is cut from the same cloth so she's trying him as well and we're going to get on Jeffrey a little later. But Jeffrey is trying his mother because his mother is having a dinner party the day after she kills her husband's mistress. The people in the astronaut moon suits are all in front of her house scrubbing the blood. She don't care. She is still cooking roast and potatoes and rosemary and sprinkling basil and oregano and shit all on her roast beef. Y'all must not know about Veronica the remix. This bitch invented evil, honey. Like they said, um, what's her name? She said, I vacation in hell. She vacations in hell twice on in July. So she, they are scrubbing blood and things from in front of her house. And her son is still like going against her word. Like, I'm not going to marry this lady that you picked for me. Like coming to America. And speaking of coming to America... That DA is about to get her ass snatched by Catherine Fryer. Oh, we're going to get to that, too. It's just too much. So, anyway, Veronica is having this dinner party. She said, um, you're going to propose to this little heifer, and you're going to wear a man's outfit and take this damn purple rain outfit off, and that's, that's it. That, that is it, Jeffrey. And Jeffrey... So he had to leave and go put on another outfit. He comes back with this damn RuPaul special fab fabric. I don't even know where he even got this damn suit jacket from. I, I have never even seen a print this hideous. This print would make a gay person want a gay bash. Like, this print invented gay. He owned the copyrights to gay. In fact, before you could be gay, you have to give Jeffrey some money. Like, when he gets up out of his seat, there is a little sprinkle of sugar in the chair when Jeffrey gets his ass up out of the seat with that jacket. I'm gonna fuck you up for that jacket. But Jeffrey is a handsome, cute, little chocolate old drop. Melts in your mouth, not in your hand, usually. So Jeffrey is having this side affair with this police officer who really is kind of scary. 
he's like this um, racist police officer who is undercover gay. So he got all this um, hidden suppression races undercover. You know, he's cheating on his wife who is a judge. And she's going to fuck them both up when she gets wind of this. Oh my goodness, what you do in the dark comes in the light, baby. So you can't be messing around with that. Okay, so that's a whole nother show, Tyra. So anyway, Jeffrey is messing around with this police officer that's a little... He has a little tick, if you ask me. So Jeffrey um, then screwed the police officer's brains out at a hotel and then handcuffed the man and wouldn't give him the key. That man. And because he was like, you're frustrated because you're gay and you don't want to admit to yourself, so if I let you out, you're going to try and beat me. Well, you shouldn't have been doing no crazy things with somebody who got them kind of issues anyway, Jeffrey. I, that's why your mother's trying to get you to get a wholesome little cute little thing. And so y'all can do it and you won't have these kind of problems. But you want to do it with the old crazy police officer. So the police officer just keeps calling Jeffrey and want to do it again. And they, you, so we can tell this is going to be an affair. But I can't wait for the police officer's wife to find out the judge, baby. Oh my God, but Jeffrey might be an evil little bitch like his mom. Actually, he might be scoring the police officer because that is the judge and he it's the judge that's on his mother's case. So he might be trying to persuade the guy to put his mother in jail forever. Lock this little crazy bitch up because she is shooting people in front of her lawn. Got the blood getting scraped up and then planning a dinner party the next day. Where they doing that at? Where? Are they doing that at Mama Veronica? Now, let's get to the Friars. Oh, too much is going on with the Friars. Catherine and Jim, they didn't lost everything, baby. What's they doing name? Abigail, Amanda, it don't make a difference, honey. She gone. It don't make a difference. Uh, but they didn't lost Amanda. Now they didn't lost their son. He didn't overdose. He, he didn't just over there. He on the bed like this, even now. They don't even want to touch him. He been on that bed for about two, three, how many weeks? Two weeks. He been, it's like a black funeral. When they going to have his funeral? They ain't had his funeral yet. It's been two, three weeks. It's going to be three weeks. Now it's going to be a black funeral. It's so sad. So anyway, Catherine asked her old housekeeper, um, what is her, Hannah? To come over, so she called. No, she she no, she didn't ask her Hannah to come over. Somebody called Hannah and said the son is dead, and so Hannah took it upon herself to tell Catherine because I do agree she is the person who should tell her. So she was like, "Why are you here, honey? Because you were here last time, honey. You the Grim Reaper, bitch. The last time you was here, my daughter was dead, bitch. So why are you here again?" You are not here. I don't see no french fries in your hand. So you ain't here to eat. So why come you here? And so she was like, well, listen, pumpkin lamb. And so when she said that, Catherine just rolled down the stairs, honey, just like a snowman melting in July. She just hit the ground. Just hit the ground like a wet dish rag. It was just so sad. We already know what Jim going to say. So Catherine said, could you please tell my husband because I can't do it. Now, that's a lot to ask. That's like saying, "Could um, can I please borrow your pussy? I mean, like, you don't ask anybody for something like that. Excuse me for these words, but you don't ask anybody for that. You don't, I mean, come on now. You don't. So anyway, she was like, could you please tell my husband that, you know, go to the jail where my husband is locked up? He already locked up. He needs his wife. He needs to um, nestle in your bosom and cry. And you need to hold him because you've had a chance to deal with this and come to grips with this. So now you need to hold your husband and let him nestle in your bosom because his child is gone. And so you're going to send the housekeeper, child. It ain't working for me. It just ain't working. And I know her name is Hannah, but she's the housekeeper right now in a situation like this. When it comes down to it, blood is blood. She's the housekeeper. She's not his wife. She's not his cousin. She's not his sister. She is the damn housekeeper. And so she's going to tell him, Oh, Jim, I'm, I come here. He's like, Why are you here, Hannah? And he's being a dirty dog to her. Not even knowing the tea she about to give him, honey. This ain't even, this is Kool Aid in the tea pop. She about to put um, red Kool Aid at that out of a tea cup. It's so sad. So, anyway. He cussed Hannah out. Why are you here? Because you want more money. You're going to extort more money and all this stuff and all this crap and all this mess and all this and all this and all this. 
So Hannah just sat back, honey, with them braids on her head. Look like she been sleeping on them for three, four days, honey. You know how when the babies be sleeping on the braids and the braids be, it's so sad. Hannah, comb your hair. Comb your hair. Comb your hair. And poor Candace. Candace can't even rest at night. Candace woke up to the man who she owed money to with his arms around her. And he's getting some more her woo-woo. How do you keep just come popping up just like Bewitch? Bing! Popping up, getting woo-woo. Anytime you want it. Had Candace on the fence last time. All on the fence and stuff. I'm like, where, where you come from? You just taking woo-woo. You just taking woo-woo. Now, you can't have the money and the damn woo-woo. Now, you pick it. Now, if you're going to just be snatching it every time you want it, then I ain't paying you. Now, either I'm going to pay you or you're going to get you some woo-woo. But you can't get both. So, anyway, Candace is, making, Candace is making it happen. Because he was like, I got a gun on your brother, bitch. You, your black ass better have that motherfucking money by 5 o'clock. Or I'm shooting your brother in his everything. And the brother should have got the energy from his friend since birth. Um, putting his feet all up on his dirty ass feet all up on my desk with that energy looking at me like Michelle Obama um, be looking at people side eye when they be coming up on Barack. Looking at um, the brother like that. He, something should, you know, but nothing, nothing, you know, snapped in the brother's head that this dude is looking at me with his energy and his feet all up on my desk. Fuck you up. And so Candace is getting the money from the bank because she owed him $2 million. So she's trying to give him $2 million so he don't kill her brother and kill her and probably kill her mother. And I think that's why Candace put the baby in foster care so don't nobody know where he is so he can live. So that he don't be like, boo, 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 you know, shoot the whole family for the $2 million so he don't know where the baby is. She probably protected the baby. Mm. Even Candace has a heart. Even me, Lord. Even me. I think we went over everything. Um, Veronica, use an evil bitch, honey, for killing that man's uh, mistress like that. Wasn't even his mistress. You're fucking a young guy. Anytime you want. I mean, hopping up and down on it, honey. Bouncing. Bounce, 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 bounce. And then your husband screws the lady one time. And then you kill this bitch? Evil, honey. You teach a class at Harvard. I'll see you guys next time on the Mario Ramon recap. You know I love you, Boo Bears. Um, definitely comment, subscribe, and like the video if you like the video. And if you don't, just like the video. It's just a thumb down. Just let me know you like it if you don't like it. I don't really care <laughs> if you dislike it. I only care if you like it, to be quite honest. I really do. I only care if you like it. All right. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.